<laughs> All right, so today is a day. It's Thursday and I don't think I've done anything in here since Monday, which is not ideal. It's not what I wanted to do. And I kept putting it off because I didn't have anybody to watch Alec or Jackson was homesick from school, but no excuses. Are you gonna help me? All right. <sighs> I just, yeah, I know. This drawer and that drawer. What are we gonna do? <sighs> okay, so I have one, two, three colanders and one, two, three strainers. And a salad spinner? Okay, obviously this is too many things and I want to go to that place of like, oh, well, when we have a big garden and we're harvesting a bunch of stuff, I need things to put things in. But that's what I said about my baskets. That's what I'm gonna say about the bowl drawer. And I just feel like if I have so many things to put things in, then there's no way that I'm going to ever actually deal with the produce that I'm bringing in the house. This I really like, but it's not real copper. Fake copper is peeling off and I have these two and my salad spinner I can use if I absolutely need to. So we're letting go of that one. Okay, these ones are the ones we're keeping. I'm very proud of myself that I just did that. I thought that I wasn't going to. Okay, this one I used to see. Uh, nobody got time for doing it the old fashioned way. Uh. Oh, you need that for something? Yeah, we do use that one pretty frequently. This one's kind of janky, but it just has old character. Why do I do this to myself? Uh. Yeah, we should keep it, shouldn't we? Gosh, there's no way I can be a minimalist. Okay, we need this for me. For when we make jam, we need that for when we can things. Okay. All right, Alec, we're gonna use the vacuum since you're awake. Let's clean this out. both of my bowl sets because this is my grandma's Pyrex set that is very near and dear to my heart. I love it. I use it all the time, but it is not kid friendly. So I will super duper be keeping these stainless steel bowls that Josh and I got for a wedding gift. And I'd really like to do a video on the things that eight years later, we actually have still kept that we were given as wedding gifts. And these were something that I put on the, my registry. They were from Macy's, like the Martha Stewart collection. I don't know if that's cool anymore, but they're just, they've got the grip on the bottom so they don't slide and, and Alec thinks it's super cool. steel and cast iron. We're not doing anything that's coated in anything anymore. And it looks like we've succeeded. Just everything is just sketchy. This is my war. It's mom's. largest drawer that we have, but it still is just cluttered and there's no sense of organization to it. And I don't know if there's a better way 
or if just stacking them on top of each other is just still the most logical option. And I'm sure we don't need all of these. I'm sure that we could live without them, but I don't know, like if you cook a lot, you know there's just different things for different jobs. And while I try to have one thing do as many jobs as possible, please don't pull my earring out. It's not polite. I'm gonna put you down. So I got rid of that one pan thing. I use this little guy all the time. These two are the same size, but Jackson was sick the other day and one was a puke bucket and the other one I made something in. Why did I decide to do this? I don't like this game. Okay, I'm gonna start with the first third thing. I don't want it. We never use it. It's weird. I got rid of two pans. I guess I imagined myself being able to let go of more because that pan drawer is something that's really kind of it's frustrating right so we need to figure yeah, out yeah. some kind of better storage system yeah. for things like that ah. yeah the camera yeah hmm. so i don't know i'm gonna talk to josh when he gets home and see what he thinks I feel like we could live with just one of the cast iron. But then there was, a, you know, that recipe we needed a small cast iron for. And size did matter in that situation. No, you're not having a crock pot. All right, we're taking a break. point in my life teasing my grandma for the amount of rubber bands she had in her junk drawer and now I have a jar of rubber bands in my junk drawer but they end up coming in handy every now and then we actually bought these so I'm not throwing them away but also why so many pins and why so many knives <laughs> Once upon a time, I heard somebody refer to a junk drawer as a valet drawer, and I do feel like it is a much kinder name. I'm gonna keep calling it a junk drawer though, because it's faster to say and I'm setting my ways at this point. One thing I do appreciate about this drawer is it's the place that you put the things that just don't really have a real home. Like where else in your kitchen are you supposed to put your kid's pumpkin carving set or your jar of rubber bands or the tiny screwdrivers that never make it out into the garage or your thing of mints that you eat sometimes or your knives. Our junk drawer also just has our knives in it. So that's my drawer. If you don't have a junk drawer, please comment below and let me know why you don't have a junk drawer and how you don't have a junk drawer. Seriously, how do you do it? Do people out there actually exist who don't have junk drawers? I, I don't know if it's possible. Okay, well, on to the next something or other. <laughs> rough patch sit from having so many dishes in it but we have like eight plates in here and like they're ceramic plates so they're heavy and then three more bowls than we have here so it's kind of out of whack right now but i've tried for us to just stick to the bowls that are in here and so far it's been fine the last few days we have three of these larger plates and then two of each of those smaller ones for mostly just jackson at this point and then alex bowls and a couple of the smaller bowls and then those like what do you even really use these for other than baby snacks? 
it's definitely reduced the dishes, just trying to get in the mindset of like rinsing it off and reusing it later instead of just putting it in the dishwasher and pulling something out. So a bit of a mindset shift, but it is feeling like a little bit less work in the dish department, which I always appreciate. once and for all. I've got my cold tea and the egg yolk and banana that Alec didn't finish that I will be having for breakfast in a while. I do this. My desire to get this done is obviously stronger than the need to, you know, sit down and have a delicious breakfast. Okay, to the bottom cabinets. <laughs> As of recent, I've been introduced to the fact that there is lead in paint that's on some of our uh, servingware. I just kind of got into a rabbit hole when I when it crossed my mind that like, hey, I wonder if there's lead in the paint in my Pioneer Woman casserole dish. And I came across a video where uh, two women were testing with like this science C ray gun in Walmart. And there were several things that tested with levels of lead that they wouldn't recommend letting children eat off of the plates. So I just figure I'm gonna play it safe. I was considering getting rid of these anyway. I don't really use them. I have, I have enough casserole dishes. So I'm gonna let my Pioneer Woman casserole dishes go. Um, but then that brings me to an article that I came across out of curiosity at this point um, that said, please stop using your vintage Pyrex dishes for serving food, which <coughs> like, I mean, there's no design on the inside. Where's the lead? I need to know because I don't want to get rid of this one. <laughs> to bake a lot and like I said about the lead I'm really trying to cut out I think like I mentioned my pans as well I'm trying to cut out anything with um, like any non-stick coating so I'm gonna get rid of this pie pan um, I'm gonna hang on to my cheesecake spring form pan just because I really don't make cheesecake that often um, and I always use it end up using some kind of parchment paper which I mean I don't know if stuff seeps through that or whatever um, but look at these pans from my grandma's, like what an ingenious concept. I mean, if it moves, but like you, it scrapes the cake out. It just makes sense. I, but now I'm wondering what are these made out of. I could figure that out. All right, I'm forgetting. All right, so I just consulted the internet, you know, where I get all of my life advice from. And these Vintage Bake King cake pans, while they are ingenious, they're made out of aluminum. So I'm just gonna err on the side of caution and part with those. I haven't used them anyway. Um, and I'm just like really thinking more about my grandma's death. She died from mesothelioma, which if you don't know what that is, it's the cancer that's caused from asbestos, which was on, you know, everything back in the day. So I'm kind of rethinking all of like the dishes and servingware that I have from her, which is hard, but losing her really made me change and put into perspective the kind of cleaning products that I use and the chemicals that we bring into our home and that kind of thing. So I really guess that I need to start considering all of the dishes, things that we use to put our food in. So mindset shift, that's always fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So this cabinet here is the bottom version of the weird cupboard situation, like our top ones, how it goes just like all the way back to Timbuktu. So it's where I keep the small appliances that we use most frequently. Um, rice cooker, juicer are the two things that we use most often. So I keep those most easily accessible. And then it's where we keep like our canning lids and the French press we never use. Um, ah. Cutting board and then our toaster goes there. So, um, I mean, there might be a mouse family living in here, but probably not. Obviously, that needs to get vacuumed. <laughs> So I'm welcoming myself back. Time to get everything put back in here. I have this bowl that I just put all of the lids that are going to be for canning. Um, and then the ring lids. I'm just gonna tuck those in the back. That way I'm not tempted to use them for storage. Oh gosh. I should have put those cutting boards in last. And then this drink dispenser I really don't use too frequently but it's nice to have for if we do have a large group of people over that way we can have cucumber water out so i can pretend that i am fancy <laughs> Someday when I'm a grandma, I'm gonna put candy in it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, but I like you. I think lemons would look nice in here. <laughs> show you the box of everything that I'm getting rid of. It ended up filling pretty much one diaper box. Uh, the wine glasses and the blue drinking glasses I did end up giving to my mom. So those aren't here. Um, and then this guy will be going. And then I have some baby spoons that are still in good condition that we'll pass on to some friends that are having a little one soon. And then um, my Pioneer Woman casserole dishes that I felt concerned about the paint with. I am going to just repurpose to put my uh, paper pots in. 
for starting seeds. So not tossing them, but they're going to have a new use. So that, that is that. So I finished everything that was in the cabinets and cupboards, drawers, etc. Got super excited, filmed my outro, super proud of myself, and then realized that I forgot to clean off and go through like all of the decorations and plants and stuff. So doing that now. <laughs> I guess aesthetic wise is the fridge. I always try and feature Jackson's current artwork and school projects. Yeah, it's just time to give it a fresh start. <laughs> doesn't store things in your warming drawer let me know because you probably don't have a junk drawer either Ugh, goals okay tackling this real quick <laughs> the Keurig is super gross. It needs to get cleaned out. This thing is probably easily 10 years old. It was my grandma's, another thing from grandma. And I remember it was our old Keurig. I used to get like these cleaning pods that you would run through every once in a while to just like get any gunk out. And I haven't seen any gunk come through in my water, but I mean, I also am not really looking for anything. So we'll probably try and resurrect it. It works. It just needs to be deep cleaned. One of my goals this year was not to buy any small appliances, but if we're not able to get it cleaned out properly, then I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But the French press I decided not to get rid of is probably going to be used tomorrow. <laughs>
So in theory, this would be the only thing that I would keep on the island, but this is the real world and that will never happen. So I'm just gonna swap out my trees because I'm just feeling like it's spring, even though it's not. Alexa, how many days until spring? Spring starts in one month and one week on Monday, March 20th, 2023. Looking forward to that. Okay, I think it's safe to say that I am officially done. I just need to find a new place to put my uh, force of nature science bottle thing. And I need to find a place for my gloves and deal with everything that has overflowed onto the dining table. All right, but I am super happy and excited. All right, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for stopping by and joining me on that journey, that lovely adventure. That was the first time that I've gone through everything in our kitchen with the intent of decluttering. And other than just grabbing, you know, bits and bobs here and there that I decide that I need to part with in the moment. So it was honestly significantly harder than I thought it was going to be. I think that the kitchen is where I struggle the most because there are so many sentimental items for my grandma. And then I do really enjoy food, not specifically food photography, but I enjoy taking nice pictures of the harvest that we experience during gardening during the summer or flowers that I grow. And I like to put them in cute things. So getting rid of things that I find beautiful is difficult, especially if there is some kind of sentimental attachment to it. So whatever, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. It's not the end of the world. Everything is really organized and clean. I feel really excited heading towards spring that that is taken care of. Obviously, no matter what season it is, we are spending some portion of our day in the kitchen. So it feels great to have a fresh start there. And I'm really looking forward to tackling different areas in the house um, as spring approaches. So what am I thinking? I think I'm done with my thoughts, at least for this moment in time. So thank you again for joining. I really appreciate everybody's support during this adventure of mine. It's really been so helpful to stay accountable and on top of the goals that I'm setting for myself. So I really appreciate the continued support from people who've been following me from the beginning. And if you are interested in joining me on this journey, please consider subscribing, like, comment, all the things. All right, that is all. I love you, have fun, and be kind. I'll see you next time.